Now let's talk about the relationship between the sun and the energy resources. Did you know that most of the energy we use comes from the sun? Well, yes, the energy used up by solar cells and panels comes from the sun, but the sun is also the ultimate source of energy generated by wind, water, and fossil fuels. And here's how. Hydroelectric power is using water to power machinery or make electricity. Water constantly moves through a vast global cycle, evaporating from lakes and oceans, forming clouds, precipitating as rain or snow, and then flowing back down to the ocean. And what drives this cycle? The sun. The wind is caused when air is heated by the sun. This is when the sun heats up some parts of the atmosphere more than the others, like discussed before. The heated air expands and starts to move around so wind wouldn't be formed without the sun. And fossil fuels are basically stores of energy that came from the sun millions of years ago. However, not all energy sources are connected to the sun. Nuclear power makes use of nuclear fuels like uranium from underground. Uranium is a radioactive element which has been in the ground ever since the Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago, so uranium did not get its energy from the sun. Geothermal energy also depends on the presence of radioactive substances inside the Earth and has always been there since the Earth formed, but the sun didn't contribute. Also, not all hydroelectric power depends on the sun. Tides are different and depend on the gravitational forces of the sun and the moon. Thus, tides don't depend on the heat and light of the sun or any energy that comes from it, but rather the gravitational force. And now, the million dollar question. Where does the sun get its energy from then? Yes, the sun does release a huge amount of energy, but not from burning fossil fuels or anything like that. Instead, the sun releases its energy by a process called nuclear fusion. One thing to keep in mind is that the sun consists largely of hydrogen, and during nuclear fusion, the high pressure and temperature in the sun's core causes the hydrogen nuclei to fuse together to form one helium atom, and so during this process, radiant energy is released. Okay, so, if the sun releases its energy like that, then why can't we do the same? This is because nuclear fusion has its own requirements. High pressure and temperature is what causes fusion to happen in the first place. These two factors force the hydrogen atom very close together, which allows them to fuse. Simply, it's extremely tricky to create the same conditions here on Earth for nuclear fusion to happen in the same controlled way. And perhaps, perhaps one day, fusion will prove a clean and safe method of producing a reliable electricity supply. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have an amazing day.